So now we're just soldering some stuff together. I got to solder the little beeper in over here and uh, things like that. We have other connectors and things here. Just getting all the wiring together. This and these are going to be for the actual relay that's going to pulse the garage door opener. This terminal was on there, so I left it. This was a terminal I cut off, so I'm just being cheap and soldering and heat shrinking it rather than using a new terminal. You see. All right, here is the Fakakta mess of wires of pretty much everything. We did a little bundling here. Everything's hooked up. Valet switch over here. LED is hanging somewhere right here. And that's pretty much the deal. We're gonna bring this up to the gay garage. We got the relay hooked up. That'll get hooked to the back of the garage door and there you go. Bob's your uncle. Cock the mess is now the new garage door opener, which is getting hooked up here. We just took down the old one, which was hanging. Maybe we'll restable this wire up and then we'll get to the safety afterwards. This is uh, the old box. You can read it, pause if you want. That's it. Everything's temporary on the ladder, hooked up with the relay. Perfect. The little red LED is over here. It's allegedly armed. And all we got to do is press the button and it fucking works. I love it, that kind. Press the button again. <laughs> you don't say there, George Jetson. <laughs> and that's it. That's all there is to it. Again. That's the relay buzzing. Oh, okay. This garage door opener isn't smart enough to know because it has to hit the flip flop switch in the uh, thing. It's called the flip flop switch. And that's it. So, proof of concept, it's there, it works. I just hot glued the little thing on, I think I showed you, and now we're gonna mount it up and uh, then we'll work on the safety switch. Yeah, that's good. Less light. less light is good. Okay, it's all plugged in. This is the final wiring. Courtesy of my nuts. Sometimes. A little chucher on that, hot glued on, wires tied up, valet switch just in case, the magic button. Just like that, go fucking. It fucking works. Right. Well, let's see if it closes in the street. Yeah, I don't know what the range is. I would walk all the way out. You know, at the right. End of the it. Right. The best part would be to pull in, scrounge for it, and then be like beep beep, and then just drop it because you're gonna hit the button when you go inside. Right. So just go to the end of the driveway, and we'll see if it chooches. Obviously, we'll just hear it in here. That's definitely too far. Oh, it fucking worked! No way! Just like that. That's armed. I don't know if he's gonna open it again. So that actually had decent range and it fucking worked. Oh, I'm gone now. Look at me go. That far? No, no, no. <laughs> the trick is to keep off the chin. Yeah, I know that trick. So it didn't work at the clock here.
so the chin, it worked. All right. So that's definitely good enough distance right, for... Right, so if you're pulling in right here, you scrounge for it or wherever it is in your car. Right. And you just kind of you drop it in the car. Fucking obviously, beautiful. Obviously when you pull in, it's going to be open. I love, I love watching shit like that actually come to fruition and work. That's, that's great. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I kid, I kid. I kid, I fuck it up. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna wire in the safety switch bit. All right, now we're doing the safety switch, so here's the lock, as you see. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount this piece of wood to the wood that's there. I can't hold it because I only have the two hands. Then we're gonna make I'll show you here. We're gonna make an L like this. You see, we're gonna just brad nail that together. That way we have an overhang or an outhang, if you will, whatever it is. This will come up right here. You mount the switch right behind it just so it strikes it with two brad nails going right through, the finishing nails, whatever, going right through the holes in it. Done deal. Okay, now you can see the wood. Just brad nailed in. Missed one there, but uh, big shit. Plenty of meat there. It's not going anywhere. It's nice and tight. That's there. This goes here, and now we're just gonna mount the switch so it makes just like that. So pretty much where I have it is perfect. And then, although, let me see if I can get you like this. Turn that. See how it undoes the switch? And that way it makes it. And that will interrupt the doorbell here, the switch in the back, and the wireless, and I'll show you how that gets wired in later. So pretty much, like I said, all we gotta do, just put it where we want it, drive a couple of those little nails through, hammer it down, and that's it, perfect. All right, so we got the switch mounted. I don't know if you wanna just show that right quick. Oh, fuck. I hit the snapshot, but there's no That's all right. thing to snapshot. Okay, so you got that zoomed in there? Okay, we got a piece of wood tacked there. We have a switch there and a little piece of wood, just scrap wood I, I saved. And that, uh, I'm sure Jay explained that, right? I don't have to explain what it is? No, I'll, well, I'll explain everything here. Right now I have the probes hooked up. The thing is locked, as you see, it's hitting the switch and we have infinite resistance. Open it up and it'll read as close to zero ohms as this meter is capable of. Infinite. Sometimes it jams in the thing here. Perfect, every time. I think a good time now would be to explain what you're doing. Well, what, what we're going to do What is now, the switch doing, Jay? The switch is interrupting the circuit from the little doorbell and the one, the switch in the back. Why, Jay? So that way, if you have this thing locked, if it were engaged accidentally, it won't engage the garage door opener and burn it up. Theoretically, the garage door opener should be smart enough not to blow itself up, but stranger things have happened. No, it does hum if it gets jammed. Yeah, up. if it gets jammed. So you don't want to do that kind. So. Anyway, that's there. Now we're just going to run a wire all the way up and over to the back of the garage door opener. I'll show you the final connections there. We'll do the final test and shoot the fun bullet. Okay, so here's the wire that's run. Runs up all the way down as x 81 x showed you. He's just finishing connecting the switch there. Over here again, we're reading as close to Zero ohms as this meter is capable. Why it sometimes chooches, I don't know. All right, lock it. With my hand or switch? The, no, the, the lever, yeah. Infinite resistance, open. Not infinite resistance, lock it. Lock it. Infinite, open. Not infinite. Perfect. Now we just wire that in. I'll show you how that goes. 
final test of the switch here. First thing we're going to do is just uh, test it with it unlocked, obviously. So we'll hit this button first, and obviously it'll go up. We'll wait for that to go up as I walk over here. Hot animal water, yeah. This is now mounted nice and tidy, just like that with the whitey. And that goes down. Yay! Shut up. Now the wireless. Hold on. And that goes up. And actually, we're gonna have to roll it down again anyway. Oh, my fucking ass is wet. Oh, you're jolting it, you're jolting it. It's done with jolt. You don't want that kind. Um, even though everything's metered, measured, and ready to go, stand by to unplug just in case. Pow pow! That's good. Seems like it's made. Nothing? Please don't move. Oh, Nothing. Jay, you broke my garage. Ah, oh, dick. And the wireless, you'll still hear it beep beep and click the relay. But. And then theoretically it would be opening now. And you hit it again. And you can hear the relay shoot. She'll give you. That's the sound of the police. And that's it. Unlock. Chuchi and Fanguli. Why don't you shut the camera off to go a split second over there? This is not your video. Oh, it's mine now. So we're going to talk until we hit the 15 minute mark. <laughs> That's an inside joke from years ago. Hopefully one day I'll get that yes. footage and put it up. We gotta have yes. to do that. It's Planning on a, on a throwback Thursday one one of these years and uh, we'll be putting up all kinds of shit from uh, back when we were a lot younger. Or you could just go to Jay's channel right now and watch Jay's Bar's four, four episode saga. Which well, is that's on, on your channel. Which is on my channel. But go to Jay's channel. I'm sure he hits like, hit subscribe. And don't do this at home. <laughs> oh. So, XJ81X will never use the key fob. <laughs> All that work. Just so you could put it in your car and never use it. You're That's burning right. out my motor. Oh, <laughs> dick, look at that. Look at that. Anyway, he's just wasting time on the video, so we're gonna call it quits here. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and don't hit the safety switch when you're not chooching a fangool. And unlock with ignition. This video is brought to you by Jewish Productions. Due to copyright error, it's brought to you by Shittaloos. Other lawn chairs. <laughs>